Hello everyone, here I have a Omron M4i blood pressure monitor that I had for quite some time now, probably over 10 years at this point. But unfortunately the screen on this thing died. The pump inside is working and it's actually, you know, inflating the thing that goes on your arm. But yeah, the screen is damaged so I already have to repair this and I thought this might be an interesting teardown because I'm not sure if there are any blood pressure monitor teardowns on YouTube so I decided to make a video about this. So yeah, this is the European version just in case if there's a different variations globally, this is the European versions but yeah that's pretty much it without further delay let's just get on with the teardown. There isn't any screws under the sticker, so yeah, is that it? Doesn't feel like it. Oh, it's really okay. So here is the back side of it, in case you're interested. Not much really. And here is the main internals. So this is the screen that's been causing me trouble. So. Let's see, and it go right, and yeah, this is gone. This is attached by a hot bar attachment, I think, here, and yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to fix this because of this issue. So yeah, that's gone. Might as well do a more of a teardown now. So. Yeah, here is basically the internals of this, so here is the main control board, it's the manufactured in the 47th week of 2002, that's how you read a date code, and, and now that I, the thing is damaged I might as well desolder this and take a look as well, but I'll do that off camera and I'll show you. And I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but yeah, I think, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Sorry, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really informed in terms of electronics, so yeah. Here is the main pump. It's made by Seiko. And yeah, I'm not sure if that's the date code or not. It looks like the 2nd of December 2003. If that's the case, then yeah, this board waited to be manufactured by, for quite some time. Either that or this thing is refurbished, but I don't think I ever sent this to refurbishment. So yeah, I guess it takes them some time to assemble these. Or not, like... This says 2005. Maybe that, that maybe that's not a that date code. So I don't know. I don't think that it should wait that long in stores. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to remove this shield now because I don't know. Maybe there will be something interesting there. But yeah, this is basically the entire setup. Otherwise, here is the pump, and this is probably something to do with the reading of the pressure. I'm not really sure. So yeah, I'm going to remove the shield off camera because my soldering sucks and um, I'll come back in a second. Before I get to that, I just want to quickly point out two interesting facts that I noticed. So, as you can see, the writing on here is in Japanese. And I also noticed this earlier, as I said, this Seiko motor, air pump, basically not a motor, sorry. And yeah, this basically looks like it's using all Japanese components and the fact that this text here is in Japanese, makes me think that this was actually manufactured in Japan, which would make sense considering that Omron is a Japanese brand, but I would assume they would put it somewhere on the box or the enclosure of it itself. It's not, not on the product's box, it's not on the manual, and it's not even on the product itself, so I don't know if this is actually made in Japan, but it really looks that way, so... Yeah, I thought that was interesting, the fact that they actually manufactured this in Japan because I have a newer one which isn't and the fact that they didn't tell that because that's usually a selling point for these companies and you know, it's interesting that they didn't actually tell you that they manufactured it in Japan, if that's the case. 
So I removed the shield on the bo on both sides and while I was off camera I did a search online for this chip and it turns out it's a specific chip used for blood pressure monitors and as far as I can tell it's only used in Omron ones so yeah it makes sense to see it here but I couldn't find any other information on this and what we have under the shield on this side is just a logic gate the interesting stuff is on this side and I don't know what this is, but it has something to do with, uh, obviously, the blood pressures, air pressure coming here. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's dismantle that and see. Might as well do it since this thing isn't going to work for me anymore anyway. And then there's this copper plate. Then another one. And yeah, I broke it, but yeah, you can see the mechanism here. There's a diaphragm here, so this is basically how it detects the blood pressure, I assume. And based on that, obviously, don't quote me on this, any of this stuff, I don't know anything, but this might have something to do with detecting the pulse because this seems to be the way to detect the blood pressure. This diaphragm here. But again, as I said, don't quote me on that. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it, it, it for it. It's unfortunate that I couldn't repair this, but as I said, this looks like a hot bar attachment. And yeah, that's impossible for me to fix stuff like that. I don't have the necessary equipment. So yeah, that's it. So I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please give me a like down below. And... Thanks for watching.